Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we are going to dive into the world of auditing and explore the key differences between two important concepts, materiality and pervasiveness. If you are an aspiring auditor or just interested in understanding the ins and outs of financial auditing, this video is for you. So sit back, grab a notebook and let's get started. Welcome to this video on the difference between materiality and pervasiveness in auditing practice. In auditing, materiality and pervasiveness are related but distinct concepts. Materiality refers to the importance or significance of a particular item or issue in the context of the financial statements as a whole. It is used to determine what information is considered important enough to affect the overall financial picture of the organization. A material item is one that, if misstated or omitted, would cause the financial statements to be misleading. On the other hand, pervasiveness refers to the extent to which an issue affects multiple areas or aspects of a business operation or financial statement. It refers to the degree to which an issue is widespread throughout the organization. Let us consider an example to make these two terms clear. Suppose a company is being audited and the auditor discovers that the company has been using outdated depreciation methods for its equipment. The auditor needs to determine if this is a material issue, which means if it's important enough to affect the overall financial picture of the company. If the outdated depreciation methods result in a significant misstatement of the company's assets and liabilities, then the auditor would consider this to be a material issue. In terms of pervasiveness, the auditor would need to consider how widespread the use of outdated depreciation methods is throughout the company. If the issue only affects the equipment department, then it would be considered to have a low level of pervasiveness. But if the issue affects multiple departments or areas of the company, such as affecting the calculation of the company's taxable income, then it would be considered to have a higher level of pervasiveness. In this example, the materiality of the issue is concerned with the importance of the outdated depreciation methods in the context of the financial statements while the pervasiveness of the issue is concerned with how widespread the issue is throughout the company. In summary, materiality is concerned with the importance of an item in the context of the financial statements, while pervasiveness is concerned with the extent to which an issue affects multiple areas of the organization. It's important to understand these concepts because they determine the scope of an audit and help auditors prioritize which areas of the financial statements to focus on. By considering both materiality and pervasiveness, auditors can ensure a comprehensive and effective audit that covers all the important aspects of the financial statements. We hope this video has helped you better understand the differences between materiality and pervasiveness in auditing. Remember, these concepts are essential to conducting a thorough and effective audit and they help auditors make informed decisions about the scope and focus of their work. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. We will see you in the next one.